what up youtube it's your girl tt chanel as you can see i done set myself up a little vibe yo yo check out my vibe yo first of all tt chanel game was i said i was gonna stop calling y'all tt chanel game because one i'm 30 years old now you know what i'm saying and it just sound immature as fuck so damn i can't be cursing like that because i'm monetized now damn i just feel like i'm i just feel so disconnected from my day ones man i don't like that feeling for real for real, for real. i don't like that feeling but listen man if you're new to the channel welcome if you are new to the channel man you're gonna love it here i got the best story times man and if you one of the day ones man listen get comfortable because you read the title you know this this gonna be one of them ones man and if you thinking in your mind right now, yo, is TT? Yes, I am. Duh. Like, what you think I'm about to do? I hope it passed 30 seconds because you can't be doing that within, like, the first 30 seconds YouTube said. But anyway, um, yeah, it's story time. I'm about to tell you guys my worst day ever. And I'm not even going to really say... Like, I hate that title because I had a lot of bad dates. That sounds crazy, right? I don't know why I had a lot of bad dates. Mainly because I always, I'm a daredevil. So, all my dates was bad because I put myself in situations like, I'm about to date this bitch knowing she got a baby father and he just got out of jail. I'm about to date her like that. Boom, bad date. Now I got to duck and dodge this nigga. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm about to go cheat on my bitch. You know what I'm saying? And go, go on a date with this girl knowing my bitch is crazy. Now, my bitch show up. Boom, bad date. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I kind of put myself in stupid-ass situations such of that nature. But, um, the reason why I said I don't want to, I don't want to call this one the worst date. Because it's, it wasn't, it, I feel like my worst date I would never tell you. Because something drastic had to really happen, right? So, I wouldn't tell you. So, I'm going to call this my second worst and i had a blast kind of sorta so i can't that's why i said i don't want to really want to put that worst title on it so i'm gonna call this not my worst day ever but my near-death experience oh my near-death experience <sighs> all right so I'm cheating on my girlfriend as you. Damn, let me not say as usual. No, this is old TT. This is like 2017, 18-ish. It's like, no, no, I'm lying because I was smoking. So it wasn't. Oh, no, I was single. Oh, whew. <sighs> Out of that one. I was single actually around this time. So I'm actually trying to find me a little something, something. So I'm going on dates and dates and dates. And it's just not working out for me. So anyway, it's the summertime. So I'm remember y'all. I just started smoking, so I just celebrated my second 420 this year. So I'm a new smoker, right? So I don't really know everything about smoking. Like I actually just found out what a blunt was. This whole time I've been saying I'm smoking blunts. Whole time I'm smoking spliffs. Like drop a comment if you even knew that there's a difference. Like I didn't know that. I just found that out. So clearly, like I got a lot of learning to do. But anyway, so it's the summertime. I'm a new smoker. I'm looking for a girlfriend. You feel me? I'm on a date. Boom. I pick Shorty up. We go to the movies. If you know me, you know I love movies. That's my ideal perfect date. Movies, Mexican food, sex. Ideal perfect date. <laughs> so anyway, I pick Shorty up. I got the weed. We go to the movies. Now, you, I didn't want to bring the weed in the movie theater because one, we're in Jersey. And I'm not from here, so I don't know how. I don't know if they be searching and yet again, I'm a new smoker. Weed is legal. I could have just probably bought it in there, but I didn't really know. You know what I'm saying? So whatever. Long story short, I, le I left the weed in the car. Here's the problem. It's the summertime. I left the weed on the dashboard in the summertime. Right? And the weed was like in a, a clear zip, a zip bag. Like, you know, like the clear bag, like the glad bags in the summertime. So what happened was the weed started to cook. <laughs> like it started to heat up, right? So it, it was almost that as if, I don't know. I don't know what happened to it, but it started to heat up. So by the time we got back in the car, no, I actually left like mid-movie, like, like halfway through the movie. I'm like, nah, let me go. Cause I'm like, 
I know I'm like, let me go like roll up or something like, you know, because that way by the time we get back to the car, weed already ready. And me, when I finally started smoking, it was so weird. It's like I couldn't do nothing without being high. So I'm like, I don't want this movie to end. We get back to the car. I'm not high. I don't want to do that. And I'm not high. So I'm like, I got to stop the movie. I got to go out, roll up. Then I come back. So by the time we get back, boom, get back to the car. Oh, boom. I see the weed right there. Okay. Not realizing that it was heating up. Maybe I should have Googled it. Maybe I should have asked around. Maybe I should have. I don't know. Hold on. Maybe I should have put, like, two and two together. I don't know. I didn't think nothing of it. I rolled the weed up. Now I'm like, all right, before I go back in the movie theater, I should probably hit the, you know, I should probably smoke one more time. He smoke one more time. Just to, you know what I'm saying? Hit the blunt. No. As a matter of fact, I hit the spliff. No. I'm lying. This was around the time when I was smoking. Now that I know that there's a difference, I got to be specific, right? This was around the time when I was smoking... What is a what is it when you a blunt? Yeah, I was smoking a blunt because I had the weed and the grabber. So I was smoking a blunt. So I hit the blunt like two times. Something don't feel right. It feels like I don't know. If I, I got the high of an edible at this point. Like you ever had an edible? Yo, I'm gonna tell y'all my, my drop a comment if you wanna hear my my story time when I was on an edible. I was bugging. But listen, long story short, I'm out my mind high like never been this high before in my life like i feel like yo what the like what did i just have like i, I, I caught from my normal weed man so i know i ain't late he's like what's what's going on not realizing like i just told you before the weed was heating up I don't move. I'm stuck she texted me where you at da, da, da. you said you was going to the bathroom where you at I'm not texting back. I'm not doing nothing at this point. I'm literally just stuck in the car like this. <laughs> like, movie over. She come back to the car. She knocking on the door. She tight. She like, da -da -da -da. she fussing it up. Open, I let her in. Boom. She like, why would you? She like, you all right? You... Now she see that I'm gone. She like, all right, let me stop going off of her. She like, you all right? I'm like, yo, I'm so high, bro. Like, I feel like I'm moving, but I'm not like. That's why I just couldn't move. Like, I couldn't walk back. She's like, why would you smoke? You said, like, you was going to the bathroom. Da -da -da. You was this whole time. You, I'm like, shit, I forgot what the hell I told her, to be honest. I just know I left mid-movie. I ain't even realize. I, I usually don't explain myself. So that's how when she said that I told her I was going to the bathroom, I'm like, that don't even sound like me. I usually just, I don't explain myself to nobody. I usually just do, do what I want to do. So maybe she was high and thought I said I was going to the bathroom. I don't even think I said that. Fast forward now. She tight. You know, the vibe is off. I mean, when your vibe be off if your date kind of left mid-movie, she in her bag. She like, take me home. Mind you, we in a parking lot. Like I just said, I got to be high to do pretty much everything. So I'm like, all right, man, before we leave, I got to smoke. Like, I got to smoke. She like, no, because clearly when you get high, you're not the best at what you do. So no. I'm like, all right, bet. Oh, yeah. And don't try this at home, neither. I'm going to put warnings in the beginning. Blah, 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 whatever. But no, for real. Don't try this at home. No funny shit. So I get high. Bugging now. Gone. T twisted. I don't know why she let me hit the blunt. Which I'm about to... No, now I'm about to hit the split. Because now I only smoke weed and papers. I don't smoke gravel. I don't smoke nicotine, tobacco, whatever. All that stuff is not good for you. I don't smoke that. What's good with y'all too? Like, drop a comment, man. How y'all feeling? I feel like I got, I feel like it's, I got one of y'all who consistently watch all the videos. And maybe you want to say something to me. And maybe you feel like I won't respond. I promise you I respond to all my messages as of now. Because I can. It's My messages aren't as packed as you think it is i check my stories i check who viewing my stories so whenever you think tt ain't watching i'm watching and this is honestly the best time to connect with me so reach out to me man like what's up but all right fast forward now let's hit the blunt so you know i'm hot she hit the blood too it's the same blood that i smoked 
halfway through and I got. She like, take me home now. I'm high. Understand? She like, take me home. I'm like, I am taking you home. She like, no, you're not. We both high. I'm like, shorty, I'm driving the car and I'm taking you home. She's like, the car is not moving. She's high. I'm high. We're both high. So at this point, we don't know what the hell is going on. She's telling me the car not moving. I know the car moving, but at the same time, I'm high. So it's like, is the car really moving? She like, the car is not moving. The car is moving, gang. So I didn't stop the car. So she can get out and check to see if the car is moving. You understand what I just said? That's how high we are. So she goes, I stopped the car. She gets out the car. She goes, I told you the car is not moving. I said, oh yeah, my fault. I'm high. Get in. She gets in. Put the car back on. I start to move out the parking lot. I'm driving out the parking lot. She goes, when are you going to take me home? I'm like, yo, I'm taking you home right now. She said, there you go. They're in the car moving again. Whole time is not moving. Yay. This car is moving. Now, in Jersey, you can turn on red. In New York, you can't do that. Here's where the, the date becomes horrible. The car is moving. She don't think the car moving. I'm high, so, like, she's kind of convincing me that the car is not moving. So, I feel like the car is really not moving, right? So, in Jersey, you can turn on red, right? So, I keep keep in mind, I don't, I, I don't think I'm driving. But it's like I'm second-guessing myself because I'm still moving at the same time. Like, this is how you know God is real. I get to the red light. She goes, yo, yo, if you don't run, if you don't run this red light, if you don't run this red light, that's how I know the car not moving. I said, what? She said, if you don't go when the light turned green, that's how I know the car not moving. That's what she said. She said, boom. That's what she said. She said, if you don't go when this light turned green, that you not moving. But I know that you could turn on red. So I turned on. I hit the right. Boom. I said, boom. I told you the car is moving. She said, you just ran a red light. We're going to jail. I'm like, how are we going to jail? She said, you just ran a red light. You're going to jail. Park the car. I want to get out. I ain't, I ain't feeling this vibe no more. You want some other shit? You crazy as hell. Did I? I said, I did that to prove a point. She said, no, you could have just waited till the light turned green. And she right. I kind of could have. But, like, I, I'm a smart ass. I'm a Libra. Like, don't tell me what to do. So, I I, I kind of wanted to give her that, that thrill. Because I knew she was from New York. I knew she wasn't used to the whole, you know what I'm saying? You could turn right on red. So, anyway. She going on. I start to calm her down. Calm down, show you, relax. It's not that serious. I mean, I parked the car. We both was wrong. We both was high. We both did some dumb shit. Let's calm down. Let's talk. You feel me? Getting up in her head. You know, bitches like that shit. Whatever. So, fast forward now. I don't know how we end up getting to telling each other, like, our story. Like, she telling me her past and her... her oh, no, it's, it's the first day. So, I think that, that, that's what happened. I'm asking questions. She's asking questions. You should ask questions on the first day because before you do anything with anybody, you just ask a bunch of questions. Always ask questions. So she's asking questions, I'm asking questions. Boom. So I go, what's the craziest thing you ever did? Just off the top. Shit, I need to ask because if she say something crazy like, I don't know, I got gang banged or something. And I got a blocker, so it's like, you know. So anyway... She goes, the craziest thing I ever did was take it in the butt. Hmm? That's crazy. So I'm like, okay, I don't feel like that's that crazy. You know? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's not that crazy. Feel me? Like, I drop a comment if you want to know what's the craziest thing I've ever done. I'll tell you. Well, no, no, I can't tell you that. But I'll tell you what's the second craziest thing I've ever done. Huh? But anyway, she goes. Take I, I take it in the butt. I said, all right. I said, I don't feel like that's that crazy. I, I heard worse. She said, well, it depends. And I said, depends on what? She said, like, what was the worst that you heard about? Like, what was the worst that you ever heard? Like, as far as, like, taking it in the butt. And I was like, um, I don't know. 
I, I, I said I don't feel like that's. I don't know. I think I, I had somebody tell me that they took it in the butt and did coke before at the same time, and she said like cocaine, and I said yeah. She's like I was like yeah cocaine like bitch. They took it in the butt and they just they want cocaine. She said okay, I took a thirteen inch strap in my butt. I said. 13 inches? She said, yeah. And that, my friend, top the, cra the, the craziest thing that I ever heard. Because 13 inches? Is that even, like... Is that even, like, safe? And then, at that moment, it became the worst date. Because every time she farted, I felt like she didn't notice it. And it was because of that? Or was it because we were both high off some heated weed? I don't know. Either way, that was the worst date I've ever been on. Drop a comment. Hit that like button. Drop that share. PT Chanel, I'm out. Oh, yeah, I got to think of a name for y'all. I ain't going to call y'all TT Chanel gang. I'm going to call y'all. I'm going to call y'all family, man. What's up? Y'all